Hey there and welcome to Umbraco TV. In the next couple of minutes, we'll have a look on how easy it is to get started with Umbraco 8 on your local installation by using VS Code. My name is Gabriel and I will be your Umbraco Unicorn guide today. Before we start, there are a couple of things that you need to have installed or enabled on your local machine. First, you'll need to download the Umbraco 8 version from our community website. There is a link to the download page in the description of this video. Secondly, make sure that you have Internet Information Services IS, enabled on your computer. And lastly, install a small extension for VS Code called IS Express. The extension gives the power to run a folder in VS Code as a website using IS Express. There is a link to the extension in the description of this video. Brilliant! Now you are ready to install Umbraco 8 on your local machine. I have the V8 zip file that I have downloaded from the community website right here. When you download the Umbraco 8, you should have a similar zip file as me. The name might be, might be different if a new version is available at the moment when you watch this video. But nothing to worry, it works exactly the same. I have unzipped the, the file and I have all of the files inside this folder. Let me just open it. Here we go. Now I'll open the files in VS Code. So I'll just right click and then choose Open with Code. Great. Now that I have the files um, in the VS Code plus installed the um, IS Express extension, you can find it uh, right here. So we go extension, then here we go. We have the IS Express in here. Now I can simply spin up the project by pressing Control plus F5, or you can go with Control Shift plus P, and then you have the option from here. You have the option to stop, start, or restart your website. I will choose this one. So here we go. Great, so we will, we will be soon welcome with the installation uh, wizard. Here we go. So now we have a couple of options. First of all, we need to provide the name, email, and the password. So let's do that. I'll just go with Gabriel, then my email address, and then the password, a really powerful one. Great. Then, of course, we have the option to um, uh, subscribe to the newsletter, so we are updated regarding uh, Umbraco version, security bulletins, and community news. Then if you click uh, Install, that will install also a starter kit for us, a predefined website, so we have some, some content or metadata to work with. On the other hand, if we want to customize our Umbraco 8 installation, we just choose the button Customize. And then the very first option that we have is to configure an SP.NET machine key. I'll just press continue for this one. And then the next thing that we have to do is to configure our databases. By default, we have um, Microsoft SQL Server Compact, SQL CE. But if you click on the small arrow in here, we have a drop down and we have a couple of more options. We can choose um, between uh, SQL Server, SQL Azure, or we can provide our custom connection strings as well. I'll just go with the default one then press continue. And then the very last option that we have here is to install a starter website. So if you want to have some content to, to play with in your Umbraco 8 installation, definitely click on this one and then you will have a predefined website on your Umbraco installation. If not, then we just uh, select no thanks. I do not want to install a starter website and then you'll have a blank Umbraco 8 installation. I will just pick the starter kit. I'll just click on this one and now Umbraco is setting up the um, database so we have a place to store, um, so it has a, a place to store your website. It will take a couple of, uh, of seconds so I will uh, fast forward this video until it is done. And here we go, we now have an Umbraco 8 installation on our local machines. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have fun with Umbraco 8.